Driving around Los Angeles, folks are always attracted by the tanks on Rosemead Boulevard, South El Monte. And that is where the American Military Museum is located. It features over 180 military vehicles from World War I and II, the Cold War, and even some from Operation Desert Storm. My dad became an officer for contracts and procurement for the Quartermaster Corps. So Quartermaster Corps is the people that, that buy and buy stuff for the, and get all the supplies for all the soldiers. So after he retired, uh, he saw all of the stuff was being scrapped, and it was a lot of history that he wanted to try to save. So he started with uniforms, collecting uniforms, manufacturing uniforms, and had a uniform store. And people would, when the new uniforms would come out, hey, I had this souvenir from World War II, you know, he had a little showcase. So he started with that, and then he bought one Jeep, and then time flew, and now we have an absolutely gorgeous collection. The American Military Museum is dedicated to preserving the rich history provided by the vehicles used by the military whether it's the Army, the Navy, the Marines, or the Air Force. Its collection is from a litter of World War II Jeeps to an M60 battle tank and even an Apache helicopter. There are also uniforms and maps, and the museum is also building a reference library with 30,000 military books. The vehicles on the property, the soft skin stuff that doesn't have armor, a lot of those stuff does run. But uh, the armor, the Army wanted us to decommission them. So what we do is remove all the fuel, we remove all the batteries, and a component has to be taken out of a, of a big vehicle, locked up in a separate location. And if we need it for a parade or an exhibit or something, we, we ask for permission to use it. We put the thing back in, use it for the event, and then disable it again. Some of the items in the museum have been donated by the Army or from personal collectors, but most of them have been collected by Craig's father. Every item in the museum has its own story, and it's the museum's job to preserve that history. This is the Sherman, the M4A3E8, which is the biggest one of the Shermans with the double wide suspension and the thicker armor. This is kind of famous now because it was just a movie with Brad Pitt called Fury. It was all shot in England. But this is the same style tank. In fact, on the DVD, they came out here and interviewed me, and they, they shot this. The American Military Museum has been collecting, preserving, and restoring the largest inter-service collection of military equipment in the western United States. It's part of their commitment to remember America's wartime past.